Down the centuries, a few fragments of the sacred prophecies were preserved, and I'm told you can find some of them in here. This library holds 180,000 books and scrolls, covering 2,000 years of human history. All sorts of treasures are hidden in their pages. I want to consult the words of the Sibyl, just as the Romans did when Hannibal was at their gates. One of the premier officials in the city came desperate to find an answer to Rome's problems in the Oracle. The oracles were written in Greek hexameter verse, so he needed two translators to help him, but eventually he found what he was looking for. Should a foreign enemy ever invade Italy, he could be defeated and driven out if Cybele, Idaean mother of the gods, was brought to Rome. So it seemed that in her hour of need, the all-protecting mother of the gods was going to be Rome's salvation. With the god's stamp of approval, Rome immediately arranged for the sacred icon of Kibele to be sent from her home in Phrygia. On April the 12th, 204 BC, a delegation of the highest ranking and most virtuous men and women in Rome came to the port of Ostia to greet the goddess. Amidst huge jubilations, her boat was towed up this river, the Tiber, and then her icon was triumphantly and tenderly carried into the city. The mother had arrived at Rome. The Romans believed Kibele's arrival changed the course of the war and history. A grateful city embraced the potent goddess they called the Magna Mater, the Great Mother. And each April, the Romans, led by the goddess's priests, the Galli, honoured her in a great annual festival. But in the middle of the celebrations came an aspect of the festival that was shocking to the Romans and is still pretty hard for us to stomach. The young priests would whip themselves into a frenzy and then, just as the sun was setting, they would make the ultimate sacrifice to the Great Mother taking a knife or a sharp stone or a piece of pottery sherd, they would castrate themselves. 